Hello YouTubers, welcome back uh, to my stoop. Uh, all my YouTube friends, subscribers and uh, pipe smoking friends. Um, it looks like it looks like this uh, channel of mine will will be a, a, f a set Friday afternoon type of channel because every Friday afternoon uh, after work I come yeah, I come here and I sit and start relaxing and then uh, I think of, of all the things I would like to say and make a YouTube channel but uh, video so um, but that's fine that's uh, that, uh, that, that makes it more um, predictable so maybe that's uh, that's actually a good thing I'm smoking here a very nice blend uh, of which I will uh, do a review tomorrow uh, in my GB uh, my George Jensen uh, special I think no extra George Jensen extra and um, things that uh, has been happening this week I I'm really looking for a nice Mears, uh, Mears, uh, Mears came pipe, but uh, I'm so afraid of of uh, of buying the wrong, you know, the wrong stuff or not, you know, not the real genuine block ones. Um, sorry for that. That I that I that I start looking at other things also, and I found myself winning two bids. Uh, bad striking because it's not what I was looking for. I was looking for a Mears game and I was winning two others. Uh, but maybe it's not a bad idea. It's two very nice uh, pipes that I, that I got. So I got a 1960s Stanwell, uh, which I am very pl pleased about. And then I've got another pipe, which I always was looking for a very nice plateau type of, of uh, of pipe and I won a bit on a body and then I won a bit which I did not plan on another George Jensen uh, but they all all three of them looks very nice I'm waiting for them they will be here soon and as soon as they arrive here I will definitely share that uh, that with you um, today I would like to um, prepare for tomorrow's review. Tomorrow I'm going to do another review of, t of some tobacco blends that we do get in South Africa. Uh, the first one was the lo a local blender which I now realize is actually a very good blender. <laughs> As you know, it's wonderful how one's mind and, and, and how experience uh, can influence and, and can improve things because as I as I uh, embarked on this on this quest of of tobacco and blending and tastes and reviews and things uh, because for a long time I just smoked for the for the pleasure of it without uh, really taking note of the contents of my blends the more I get intrigued uh, the first review which I did and you can you will see it on on the on the channel was uh, was a few I think for six blends from from a local uh, tobacco blender, a tobacconist, who has got a few branches all over the country. And then I did a second review from another tobacconist, of which I only found one, so obviously it's not a franchise or a, or a more than one shop. Um, one uh, tobacconist who has uh, some other blends, which I reviewed on the, on the on, I think it was called number two. And then this week when I visited uh, Joburg for a meeting, I uh, discovered that there was another tobacconist uh, who's got six uh, shops around uh, the Gauteng area. And I went to, to him and I bought four blends from him. Um, what amaze, amazed me from, from this tobacconist is that the attendants, the, you know, the people helping me and selling me these stuff, did not know anything about the blends, what 
you know, what was in the blends, where they came from, uh, who did this. Um, you know, I asked them, for example, there was one which they called the Grand National Cavendish. And I asked them, what, what is inside there? Uh, no, I don't know. And I, and I smelled and I said, oh, I, I can definitely smell some burley. Uh, do you sell burley in Virginia and uh, Latakia? What? So I was, I was really, when I got out there, I thought, how can you be a tobacconist without knowing what you actually sell and what they taste and whether they're mild or strong and whether they're aromatics or not? And that made me realize that the fault is not necessarily with them, but with how far we have digressed, I hope that's the right word, uh, with uh, the anti-smoking campaign and the how can I call it? Um, we killed the interest. Slowly but surely. Maybe, maybe because of the, you know, that there's not, there's not enough demand. The whole question of, of demand and supply. Uh, economical uh, principle. Maybe it's because there was not, there's not enough demand so that the supply for, for good tobaccos and good blends are not that, that big. I don't know. But uh, I, was, I was disappointed, actually, that, that you can make a living and you can sell tobacco in South Africa currently uh, without knowing what's going on. The knowledgeable level, no, that's not, that's not correct. The demand is of such nat nature that they don't have to know. People will just buy and smoke it and be happy and, and go on. Um, so I tried then to contact the owners and ask them what exactly are in these blends and where do they come from and it looks like they are blended in a factory by the distributors of the tobacco and again if I look at who our suppliers are it looks like it is Van Eerkamps who either Van Eerkamps or South Africa British Tobacco Company who uh, supplies uh, and distributes tobacco in South Africa. So either it's either the one or the other who then makes these blend and then distributes and sell it to the tobacconists who just sells it as, as, you know, as the name, uh, whatever that, that might be. But I will review them tomorrow to you because um, one of them I've already smoked, which is awesome. It is a, uh, it's called Jacaranda which is a indigenous tree in uh, in Pretoria in South Africa and uh, it, it is it, I, I immediately got a kind of a licorice taste in it so I so there's definitely Latakia mixture in there and, and I'll, I'll, I'm waiting for the feedback from this uh, tobacconist to hear what what is in it so tomorrow I'm going going to review four of the tobaccos that I bought from from this guy um, and then I will keep on looking for uh, for other blends and, and wherever they, they came from. So that's what I wanted to share today with you. I think in this one is also one of those blends. I can't remember which one I put in here. It might be one of the Cavendishes that I bought there. One other thing. is I also bought this uh, Peterson Old Dublin tin. The reason why I bought this is because 20, 30 years ago when I, when I started smoking pipe, I bought a tin and uh, I still have that tin. And I didn't realize that tins actually accumulate in value <laughs> because of the memorabilia value of it so I thought I'll start again by collecting this and maybe in 20 30 years time it will be something but a part of that the content is quite nice it's a very very nice lat uh, Latakia uh, blend a strong Latakia with uh, with some Virginia to just bring it that little bit down so if you like Latakia uh, not a not a bad not a bad 
tobacco. This tin cost me 122 rand for uh, for 50 gram, I think. Yeah, 122 rand for this bag. Now, 122 rand is approximately it's approximately 11 11. 11 dollars 11 to 12 dollars uh, the current exchange rate is 1 to 10.8 sometimes 11 so 122 rand will will be probably somewhere 11 11 50 dollars which for us is expensive i'm not sure what this tin would cost in america but for us uh, 11 dollars is expensive because when i buy the blender tobacco distributed by south african companies I pay for the same contents about, um, is this 100 or 50 gram? I, there's no grams on this thing. Anyway, we pay, uh, we pay for a 100 gram of, of that t tobacco blends that I bought. It was uh, about eight, eight to nine dollars. So this then will will be will be rated as very expensive uh, compared to to blends that you can buy uh, from you know from tobacconists, which and those blends are actually very nice. But I just thought you know I, I do need I do need to buy another ten of these and uh, and enjoy that. So uh, friends, that's all for today. Uh, I am going to do the review tomorrow, so uh, watch out for, for review number three. And I'm also going to do, during this weekend some other time, another whiskey review, because on the Pipe Smokers Forum there was a, a nice uh, thread on, on whiskies, and I thought I think it would be nice if I could uh, maybe add, you know, add to that discussion by doing a, a whisk, uh, one of my whiskey reviews. So just to check in on this uh, Friday afternoon, oh, that's all from me for, uh, for now. I will then see you tomorrow and uh, enjoy your Friday evening and uh, pipe along. And thank you. Bye bye.